Lovelies, it's Kelpie, I'm back, and today we are going through Christmas haul. Thank you, everybody. Hello, Piper. It was Piper's first Christmas. She's very excited. She's very excited to be here today. Right, Piper? Yeah. All right. So I've got this puzzle. It's Christmas Kitchen, 500 pieces, and it's kind of chaotic looking and it says five five hidden objects on it. Can you see it? Yeah, alright. And I don't know what the hidden objects are, but that's exciting. It's for ages nine and up, so hopefully I'll be able to do this. And I've also got another puzzle. And it's got corn on it. It's got like pretty fall colors. There's also like a little puppy and a kitten down here. You can see that too. There's so much glare on this thing. I did get my mom a 1,000 piece puzzle with all the stuff that maybe you had this, that kind of thing. And we started. She really loves it, so that's exciting. I actually can show you what I got her. So I'll show you the puzzle that I got her later. But I also got her these two soaps. Soaps. This one is a lavender soap. It's got purple and like gold, sparkly, swirly stuff on it. And then I got this one. This one was my favorite one that I saw. And it's got, it's kind of, it's like rainbow. It's got little waves, like kind of unicorn looking waves on it. It's got like sprinkled, sparkly. So I got my mom presents and she, she loves soap. We had, didn't have a bathroom upstairs for seven months. Because it, it broke and couldn't get it fixed. But now we've got one, and so now she can use her soaps in her bathtub, and she's so excited about that, and so am I. Let's move on to the clothes that I got. Alright, so, I got, these were actually <laughs> presents that my mom forgot to wrap, just these two pieces of clothes. But I got these leggings, they've got, like, stars and stuff on them. They're very soft, and she also got a oh, little hair on it. There's a couple hairs on it. this white sweatshirt type thing to go with it. This is also so soft. Oh, I actually wore this one yesterday. It's also very soft. It's also red. I don't own a whole lot of red, but people tell me that I look really good in red. So we're trying this out. Speaking of red, we've also got this plaid thing, the shirt. It's like a crop top and a flannel at the same time. But then we've got two sweaters, and this one I picked out myself. So it's got this sweater, it's black, sparkly, you got like silver sequins and thread all through it. And I actually got a matching one for Casey. Um, Hers is gray, though, so, you know, we don't look completely identical, you know, because she's, like, blonde and wouldn't want to get anyone mixed up. So then we've got this sweater, which I actually did not pick out. This was a complete surprise, and it's green. Green? I could never, I couldn't tell if it was green or gray when I first opened it, but I'm pretty sure it's green. I'm holding it backwards. It's green and white stripes, and then it's got these little lace Lace, lace, what are they? These little laces kind of things going on at the bottom. Piper, what are you doing? Oh, she's going to go attack Molly. Piper. Anyway. My, one of my favorite pieces of clothes that I got was this leather jacket. I love leather jackets. I got my first one. Probably my freshman or sophomore year of high school, and I wore that thing every single day that I could to the point where it was falling apart, like completely falling apart. I still have it somewhere, but yeah, all the the leather was falling off of it, and it, it, my mom wouldn't let me wear it out of the house anymore. I'm obsessed with these little, their little piggy slippers. I love. Pigs. I like farm animals, but not chickens. I'm afraid of chickens. And we've got one more pair of slippers over here that I also picked out. They were on clearance, so you know, 
we had to get them. But they're little bears. I don't know if you can see them. Let's see. Can I open this box? Oh, they got little, like, designs on the soles with the feet. Little stars and clouds. It says, time for dream. Oh, that's cute. But they're bears. They're little bears. They've even got a little tail on the back. Yay. It's not something that my parents got me, but it's something that my best friend in the whole world, Casey, got me. She now works at American Eagle, and so she got me this from American Eagle, because you know she gets, like, discount, it's pretty great. And I was afraid it was going to make me look even more like a box, but it, it doesn't. I like it a lot. It's really cute, and the straps are not too big. Usually, any type of straps on a tank top are too big for me, because I have no torso whatsoever. But it fits, and it's, that's, all this is very <laughs> exciting for me, because clothes fit, usually they do not fit at all, but they do, yay. We've got these, these are so cute, they're little cat earrings, can you see them? Do I do them like that? Oh, it kind of worked, it actually worked, wow, that's a thing. But they're little cats, they've got blue eyes, just like Piper, and then... I've got this Pez dispenser. Let's see, what else did I get in my stocking? Where's my stocking? I lost it. If I can find it, I'll show you. Oh my god. My stocking, because it, it came from Guatemala. My mom picked it up when she adopted me. Actually, that's another something special that happened. December 13th is my gotcha day, so that means that I've been in the United States for 18 years. I was adopted at three months old and came here on Friday the 13th, 2002. And yeah, my stocking, it came from Guatemala. It's really pretty. It says Guatemala. It's got flowers all over it. And I love that thing. And I have no idea where it went. Everybody else's stocking is out here. Moms, dads, even both the cats' stockings are here. But where's mine? Who knows? I actually found my stocking. There it is. That is catnip. Um... It says Guatemala, and look at all the pretty flowers. It's I'm pretty sure it's like handmade in Guatemala, or you know somebody made it, but it's beautiful. I don't know what's on the back. Is it just more? Yeah, it's more that design. I love Guatemala, like the colors, the everything that I've ever seen from Guatemala. It's beautiful, and I'm so happy to come from such a beautiful country. And now I'm so happy to be here, and so thankful to have everything that I've gotten here today. Anyway, back to the video. We've got this Friends Lip Balm. It's like coffee scent scented, flavored, coffee flavored lip balm. And it's in this little coffee cup looking thing. So that's really cute. I love coffee. African Black Soap Clarifying Facial Wipes. I've got this charcoal and whitening Burt's Bees toothpaste. I didn't even know Burt's Bees made toothpaste. Again, I've been here for 15 minutes. 17 minutes. Wow, that's what the camera says. Okay, this is a long video. Anyway, we've got this charcoal whitening toothpaste, which I love anything that's charcoal whitening because, like, I am I'm kind of obsessed with my teeth and I don't like them to look yellow, even though they kind of do. It hurts my soul a little bit. But we've also got this new spinny toothbrush pro clean thing to help with that. So. Maybe my head won't, like, explode anymore when I see myself in the mirror. Did I get this in my stocking? I don't know. But it's uh, what cats teach about us. It's a little calendar. Calendar? Like a daily calendar. If anybody follows Local Wild Kelp on Instagram and has was there, like, two years ago. Wow, two years ago? Last year? Did I really just, like, quit? I quit, like, halfway through the year of the thing. But it was a Nerd a Day calendar where I just had like science or like nerd facts every single day and I would post every single day on my story and did anybody care? Probably not. But it's going to happen again with these. So be prepared for that. So if you like cats or you just want to know what cats teach us, you hate cats and you're like, what's the purpose of cats? Well you're gonna learn if you watch my story starting next year. On to what my friends got me. Okay, so we're going to start with, once again, my best friend in the entire world, Casey, and, oh, she signed, did she sign, what? 
No, that's not her name. It kind of looks like her name. But anyway, she got me this little sign. It says, good friends do not let you do stupid things alone, which is actually something that I signed in a little book that I gave her for Christmas. We think alike. We're the same person. And I have these signs all over my dresser, like the top of the dresser. I'm going to need help putting this up there. I cannot reach, and even if I put a chair, I always end up knocking things down and breaking everything on my dresser, breaking my dresser itself. She got me, she got me this little cow ornament. As I said, like, a little bit ago, I love cows. And she got me this little cow ornament. Let's see, where, what's the, where should I put it on the tree? Um, let's put it right there. Yay! Cow ornament. And she also gave me this super cute little thing. It's It says, Mary, Mary Chrysler Langers. You know, because all we talk in, like, Vine references. And she calls me Langers. My name before it was Kelp was Lang Lang, thanks to Casey and somebody else that misheard her. So it turned into Lang Lang and then evolved to Langers. And to this day, she's, like, the only person that calls me that still. But it says, Merry Christ and Langers, love you. And this is so special. This picture was from last year's gingerbread making. And then we've got ones from our graduation, more graduation. One that we just took over the summer, like in the fall, kind of. And then this picture, I think she's, oh, it was also from like our graduation, not like party, but just when I went to her house after our graduation. We saw it. But this picture is really cute. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's okay. There it is. You're really cute. So yeah, those are the presents from Casey. I love Casey. I love Casey so much. I think my camera's going to die on me soon. So let's go through this quickly. Okay. One more thing from Casey. She got me this water bottle. I I thought I lost my one my camel, camelback water bottle a long time ago. I found it, but she still got me this new one anyway. It's blue. I love blue, and it's got my name on it. There is it? There it is. My name. I went to Ethan's family's house yesterday, and they gave me a bunch of presents too. They gave me this the shower gel. It's Christmas cookies. A bath bomb. I love bath bombs. I never, I barely ever used one, but it looks so pretty, and I'm excited to use it. And then we've got a face mask, mud mask, anti perfection face mask, and the body lotion. It's cranberry, cranberry spice. Yes. And junior mints. I love junior mints. I can't eat like gummy candy, and I love chocolate. But, I don't know, I don't eat a whole lot of candy, but I'm, I love Junior Mints. Junior Mints are so good. Oh, and his mom. That, that was from his Aunt Mary. And then this was from his mom. Oh my gosh, I love Disney. It's a little mini. Oh, Piper, what are you doing? This little mini wallet. And you open it up and... It's really nice. I actually needed a wallet. My mom told me I needed a wallet. I couldn't just keep carrying everything around in a dinosaur. Um, but it's like in the inside, it's also got little polka dots, like the mini polka dots. And she gave me an Ulta gift card. Okay. Now, one more thing that I got from my mom was these two fabrics, dinosaurs and green. And Ethan and I are going to make a blanket out of it. I haven't told him yet, but we're going to make a blanket and he's going to like it. He's going to have fun. We're both going to have fun. And speaking of dinosaurs, one of my most prized possessions from this Christmas, we've got this little dinosaur. It's coming out of an egg. I love him. It came from Dutch Plant Farm. It's my baby. Yay. Piper, hold this dinosaur. But what's also my baby is this little sushi dog. My mom didn't even know it was sushi. She just thought it was a dog and something was on its back. She asked, what, what is it? I said, it's sushi. She said, it's a corgi. <laughs> What's sushi? I'm like, okay. We're just, it's just, it's a corgi with s sushi. I love this little thing. I, it, it's so squishy. Okay, and then... Another little squishy thing. Ethan got me this 
my little jabber ball. I've got four jabber balls now. This is my first unicorn. The other three are cats. Its name is Dick and Dot. Thank you, Piper. And then other things Ethan got me. He got me these earrings. Can you see them? They're Cinderella's carriage. We've got a little blue jewel thingy in the center. And he also got me this this ring. It's a heart ring. He got me this one for my birthday. And this one's for Christmas. I love them. Oh, look at my nails. This one's kind of dying, but they've got little pearls on them. Okay. And then my mom also got Ethan and I this little... Well, it's kind of big, actually. This cookie, cookie skillet thingy to make. It's Reese's. I love peanut butter. Yay. So we're going to make that, and we can make a blanket, too. Oh, it's going to be so great. Okay. Um, and then I can drive now. So my mom got me a little car smelly thing. I can smell now, too. I know I never had corona. I just had no sense of smell. Um, but I can smell now. It's quite an interesting world of smells. But this is, what is this, Cactus Blossom. Don't know what that smells like. But a little penguin holder for it to go in. And she got me this hand sanitizer. I love hand sanitizer. Always have, always will. Unless it starts killing me. But then I'll probably still use it. And it screams. It's supposed to like raw, but it screams. And it's so cute. It's like a little squishy dinosaur. I love dinosaurs. Okay, and then, oh, one more kind of simple thing. Oh my god. That Starbucks gift card. I didn't get any peppermint mocha thingies this year. It's very sad. I would get those every single year, all the time. And if they still have them, I might have to go get one today. I have a lot of Starbucks gift cards. Okay, now for the main event that I'm so excited. Hope my camera does not die while I do this. Okay, so my one of my other best friends, Josie, got me this. And you're probably like, what in the world is that? Well, for any of you that may not know, it holds CDs. It's a red CD case. And you're like, how many CDs do you have? Well, last year for Christmas, I got Elton John Diamonds. Love that CD. I've been listening to it for a year, pretty much nonstop, except for when I listened to it from Under the Cork Tree that Josie also gave me sometime last year. But now I've got more CDs that I know what to do with. Just kidding, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to listen to all these forever. Um, I've got so many CDs now. We've got El oh my God. Ed Sheeran's Divide. I love the CD. Now I can learn all of the songs because that's like the one album that I have not learned all the songs yet. This, I know all the songs. Um, Fall Out Boys, Save Rock and Roll. Love this. It's also got Elton John on, obviously, the Save Rock and Roll track. And probably not obviously, but anyone that knows, you're pretty cool. Love this album. And then, um, those both came from my parents. And then from Josie, we got Sabrina Carpenter's Evolution. I didn't even like think about getting this CD, but I'm so excited that she got it for me. I love Sabrina Carpenter, as well as I love Selena Gomez. And Josie got me the Rare album. And I, oh God, I love Sabrina Carpenter, Selena Gomez, beautiful, beautiful human beings, make beautiful music, as well as Fall Out Boy and Ed Sheeran, but you know, Sabrina Carpenter, Selena Gomez, I, I've been their fan since like I was so little as well as when they were little and I get to listen to their music now and I love that. And then also my mom got me this Bohemian Rhapsody CD. I love Queen, um, but I don't know them quite as well as I do Elton John, but now I'm going to learn. Piper, what are you doing? Eating the bag. And my final thing that I got, but probably my favorite thing that I got, I got the Folia Dune CD. Thank you, Ethan, so much. This is my favorite Fall Out Boy album, one of my favorite albums ever. I've already been listening to this CD nonstop in the car since I got it on, like, a week ago.
yeah, like a week ago at this point. But I, uh, God, I love the CD. If you haven't listened to it, if you don't even know who Fall Out Boy is, you don't like Fall Out Boy, don't care. Listen to this CD. Listen to at least the last five songs on it. Do not put them on shuffle. Like, make sure you listen to them straight through, whole album, like, preferably, but if nothing else, the last five songs. <laughs> and they're perfect. They're so perfect. Ah, oh my god, the transitions between them are amazing. I got Ethan to listen to it, and shh, he thinks it's amazing. And that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I love all this stuff so much. I'm so thankful for everything that people got me. And my cat's going to go attack something now. Um, thank you so much. Oh my god. As you can see, she just ran right through the tripod. Oh, we got a tripod. That's how I'm filming this now. Anyway, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you like dinosaurs too, you like Fall Out Boy, let's be friends. We're probably already friends, but now we've got something even more in common. I love you guys. Thank you. Have a great day. Christmas cats. Christmas cats. Molly loves her tree. Molly. Oh, she's asleep. And then there's Piper! <laughs>